Okay, welcome to the first video of the Step 1 Ophthalmology Review Course. In this course, we're going to try to cover the most basic material and then try to work our way up to pathology, pathophysiology, and eventually cover everything you're going to need to know about ophthalmology for USMLE Step 1. And in addition to the videos, in the description, I'll have a PDF with all the information you're going to need, all the information covered in these videos, as well as Anki cards made that you can download that will help you learn the material. In this video, we're just going to be talking about some normal basic eye anatomy. So, what is the eye? Well, it's basically just this big ball with a hole in the back of it for the optic nerve. which takes signals from light and takes them back to the brain. And there's essentially three main layers of the eye. One is gonna be the sclera, which is the white part of your eye that you see. Two is gonna be the choroid, which is gonna be the vascular layer that provides vessels to a lot of the eye. And then three is gonna be the retina, which is actually the nervous layer of the eye that contains the rods and cones that let you see. And you see a small indentation right here in the retina, it's called the fovea, and it's made up mainly of cones and is responsible for your central vision. And in the back right here, where the optic nerve enters the eye, it's known as the optic disc. And if you follow the choroid forward, so you follow this red line, you get to the ciliary body, which is right here which is connected to the zonular fibers. Which is connected to the lens. And the choroid also connects to the iris, which is the color part of your eye. And the hole between the iris is your pupil. And the part in front of the iris, so this part here, is the anterior chamber. The part behind the iris, but in front of the lens, here, is the posterior chamber. And behind the lens and in front of the optic disc, so this whole part, is the vitreous chamber. So here's another view, and in the back you have the optic nerve, which comes in the back of the eye, turns into the retina, and then here in the retina you have this little indentation, which is known as a fovea, which is for central vision. Then you have the choroid, which is the vascular layer, and if you follow that all the way forward to the most anterior part of the eye, you run into the iris, which again is the color part of your eye, and then you also turn into the ciliary body here, which is connected to the zonular fibers, which is also known as the suspensatory ligament, and those are connected to the lens here. And in front of the iris here, you have the anterior chamber, and behind the iris, here, you have the posterior chamber. Then behind the lens, but still in front of the optic disc, you have this whole chamber here, which is the vitreous chamber. Then you also have the sclera here, which is the white of your eye, and if you follow that all the way forward to the anterior part of the eye, it turns into the cornea. And if you remember, the cornea is clear. C and C, cornea, clear. So the last thing you need to know for general eye anatomy for step one are some retinal structures. So if you remember the optic disc, is where the optic nerve enters the eye, and the fovea is for extreme central vision. And we also need to be able to differentiate between retinal veins and retinal arteries. And the main thing for this is that retinal veins are much darker than the retinal arteries, and that should help you tell them apart. And we also need to talk about the optic cup and the macula, but we'll talk about those in the glaucoma video and the macular degeneration video, respectively. Okay, that's gonna be it for general eye anatomy. Again, a PDF of these notes and an Anki flashcard deck will be in the description to help you study.